Rosenberg for the martial art world. I'm mm -hmm. here with Russell Wong. Russell's an up-and-coming uh, new film star on the scene here, and I know that you've just done a, a pilot for a series. Tell us a little bit about that series. Yeah, it's called Vanishing Sun, uh, created by Rob Cohen, uh, part of the Universal Ac Action Pack. Uh, our story is about two brothers who come from China, it's post Tiananmen Square, come to America and trying to, you know, make it in America. Uh, my character is also uh, a musician, and uh, my brother gets involved with the, the criminal element, you know, gets involved with the gangs, and there's that kind of tension and duality. I'm trying to bring him out of that, and we're trying to do the right thing and do things by the book. And yeah. I understand you've also done a number of film parts as well. Tell, tell us a little bit about that. And, uh, some of my the features that I've been in were uh, The Joyla Club, uh, directed by Wayne Wong, uh, Eat a Bowl of Tea, China Girl, uh, Taipan. The fight scene that we took a look at, mm -hmm. um, I saw some pretty pretty good moves there. Some of them were familiar. They looked a little bit like the, uh, the Hark Fu Moon, the Black Tiger of Shantung, known as Fu Jia Pai now. Right. Um, I understand he studied with one of New York's great seafoods. Yes, uh, Sifu Takwa Eng uh, prepared me for uh, my character prepared me for the uh, the role. Um, studied with him uh, intensively for about six weeks before we started shooting. Uh, was just showing me the uh, the Buddha form, uh, along with a couple other forms, and uh, just kind of preparing me, you know, for uh, the the action uh, sequences. Now, the Buddha form, which is one of the the forms in the Tiger Claw mm -hmm. repertoire, is one, is the form that we see in the um, in Second the cut. Episode, right. And there were the, well, the whole crowd of people watching you do the mm -hmm. form. What that feel like? What that um, the energy on the on the set? Were people really into it? Because it seemed like yeah. Actually, I, I, there's another take that I felt I did better. Did the form perform the form a bit better? Uh, but any time I would do the form, it, it always. I was getting my energy going, my, I was, my concentration, my focus was always sharper than if I would just try to do maybe some choreography with just the punches or some kicks. Uh, I noticed whenever I did the Buddha form that uh, my awareness was always sharper. Um, that's, that's, that's something about the martial arts when if you taught properly that you, know, you develop or you cultivate that, uh, that kind of spiritual aspect. Now, where, where do you think you'd like to see um, television go in terms of the martial arts? More program series along the style of what you're doing? Or do, we, do you think there'll be more of that coming out of Hollywood? Well, I kind of like what we're doing. I like uh, the stories, uh, the writing uh, that Vanishing Sun has. Uh, it's not just action, it's not just martial arts, but there, there are issues that are dealt with, uh, racial issues, issues between father and son, between brothers, love, relationships. Uh, kind of real-life relationships that, that I think enhance the story and enhance the quality of uh, the martial arts film. The thing about uh, Fu Jiapai and uh, Sifu is that it's very traditional. It has lineage. It comes from, you know, way back. It's, it's not just something people make up. It has a history to it and a tradition to it. Uh, I just wish I wasn't a weekend martial artist. <laughs> it takes a lot of commitment. And, and work, when I was working with Sifu, he, he's got all this information, all this knowledge to give to me, but he can only give me this much at a time because I can only take uh, you know, uh, my capacity to learn all of that information. It's just, you know, and the time that I have is very, it's limited. So it's something you have to 